Hi there, welcome to a quick tutorial on a couple of the features of the plier module on Python. This basically gives you cross-platform access to a couple of really neat features and today I'm going to show them off on iOS. And this should work uh, definitely for Android as well, actually a little bit better for Android. And some of the ones that we go over today like text-to-speech will work on like your computer as well. Okay, so just a quick demo with the app here, uh, we're going to go over battery, how to get like battery info for your mobile phone. So if I press the battery button, you can see I get a little pop up and it tells me uh, what my percentage is and if I'm charging. And that comes in the form of a dictionary, so it's really easy to work with. So you can get battery info and then I'll, I can vibrate my own phone. So I'll press this button and I'm going to put it on the mic so you can hear the vibration. There, when I press the button, you should see, you should hear the vibration. So you can vibrate your phone. And then also text to speech, I'll write something here like, hello YouTube. And when I hit text to speech, hello YouTube. Oops, let's turn it up. Hello YouTube. There you go. So it can, it, it's actually pretty good. So text to speech works great. Um, your ringer has to be on though. So like for me, my iPhone, I have to make sure this is uh, set to on. Otherwise, if I turn it off, click, click. Uh, it doesn't work anymore. Okay, so let's get into the code of how to actually write this app for yourself. Okay, so here I am in my project folder. Um, actually, if you're following along with some of my other KVMD videos right now, the KVMD package that I just copied over is, is the newer version. So before I do something that was a couple months old, um, so you might notice a couple things different, like importing is a bit different with this new version. But anyway, Okay, I have my KVMD package just so I can have my widgets look nice. And um, my main.py file, here it is. Uh, we're working in Kivi, so this is my main app class. And I've just got my, uh, sort of like my theme manager, my colors uh, initialized here. And then I'm just running my app. And over in my main.kv file, all I have is right now is a box layout. So we'll, we'll put in the buttons right here. So I've imported my MD raised button widget, which is just a, a standard button, and a text field widget. Okay, so uh, first things first, we're gonna want uh, an MD raised button for my battery. Okay, so I'll say text is battery, and then on release. So when you click the button, I will do app dot show battery info. Okay, so I have to create this method, this function show battery info over in my app class. Um, and actually, the highlight of the video, of course, is the ply module. So I need to import uh, the battery module. Oops, from plier import battery. And then also, because I know what we're doing, I also want to import TTS, which stands for text to speech. Um, and then also vibrator. Okay, so text-to-speech lets me lets my phone talk pretty much and vibrator lets it vibrate <clears throat> all right so let's create a function show battery info um, and when I do this I'll just have it uh, print battery dot status that's all it takes uh, in my little demo app when I was clicking the button it showed a little pop-up and that was just a, a toast message so I guess if I want to be consistent with what I showed earlier, I could say from kvmd dot uh, toast import toast, and then I would say like toast, and I convert it to a string battery dot status. So battery, oops, battery dot status is a dict, and it contains, well, it contains the battery life or the battery percentage and whether or not it's charging. So that's all there is to it. That's all the code that I had to use on my phone to uh, get that info. So let's get another uh, <clears throat> button in here. And this will be my vibrate button. So I'll say text is vibrate. And on release, I'll do app.vibrate. So let's create this vibrate function. So def vibrate self. And here I can use the vibrator module that I imported from plier. I can do vibrator dot vibrate. 
that's all there is to it. If I just call that, it just buzzes my phone for like one second. And on iOS, actually, this is all you can do. But if you go look at the documentation for the plier module, plier vibrate, <clears throat> we will get an, an example here. And on Android, oh yeah, on Android, you need the vibrate permission. So keep that in mind if you're working with Android. And you can actually specify a couple more parameters. So like time, you can tell your phone to vibrate for if I say four here, it vibrates for like four seconds. And also you can set a pattern. So using this function, uh, instead, of, instead of vibrate, which is the one that I was using, you can use pattern, but this doesn't work on iPhone actually. So, or at least I haven't gotten it to work on iPhone. <clears throat> so you can give it a pattern and it's basically how long to wait and then how long to vibrate. And then you can repeat the pattern. So I could say something like, instead of just vibrating once, I could say vibrator dot pattern, and then I could pass the list of like, okay, don't wait any time and vibrate for one second, and then wait one second and vibrate for two seconds. Okay, so uh, you can vibrate with a pattern. And then last but not least, the text to speech. So in my little sample, I had an empty text field, and I gave it an ID whatever and then I had hint text text to speech and then I have one more button MD raise button text TTS and on release app dot I'll say speak okay so I need to create this app dot speak and actually I want to pass it a variable, I want to pass it with the users typed in. So I'll say speak and then I'll pass field.text. So it passes whatever is written in here to my app.speak function. So let's create that function. Def speak um, text to read. Okay, so this text to read, remember, is field.text here. So whatever is written here. And TTS is super easy to work with. You just say tts.speak and then you just tell it what to read. And that's all there is to it. Uh, works on iPhone, works cross-platform. I can actually run this and the vibrator won't work, but the text-to-speech, I can write anything in here. Okay, and I click text-to-speech. And my computer is doing it too. So it's cross-platform is really great really cool so that's just an example of a couple fun things you can do with the plier module um, I'll put a link to all these uh, these pages these github pages for the documentation so you can go around and look it up yourself if you're if you're interested all right guys hope that was fun thanks for watching mm -hmm.